Hello everybody, I'm glad to be here. Today is the last session regarding GD&T. In this last session, I'm going to talk about these modifiers. Let's say SZ, CZ, and UF. Let's see the first example. I need to highlight I have used this reference. If you Google it, this DOI, easily you can find this reference. It is a good reference for this topic. In first example, let's see what do we have. We have this positioning control here. We have TZ 0 0.2 and we are going to have CZ. We are going to have combined zoom. It means this center of these two holes, because here we are going to have two multiply, center of these two holes, we are going to constrain respect to each other because we don't have any reference plane here. We are going to have constrained this orientation and location respect to each other. That's why here we can see these two holes that are parallel. The center of these two holes are parallel. The distance between these two is 40. They can go left and right. Let's say left and right. They can rotate as well. In second example, we are going to have the same geometry, but we are going to say SZ respect to datum A, this axis here. We are going, we are going to have these two multiply by that. It means there are separated zooms. Here, for sure, we are going to have this TZ for center of that, for center of this. But respect to A, we are going to have this distance 20. They can rotate respect to each other, but they are parallel to A. For sure, they will be parallel to each other, the center of these two holes. And we are going to have this figure. They have this 20 respect to A, they are parallel respect to A, and then we are going to have this situation. Let's see example number three, the same reference. We are going to have the same geometry, but we are going to have CZ respect to A. We are going to have these two multiply. Here, we have combined zoom. These two respect to each other, we are going to have distance of the 40, they can, they should be parallel. They have this location constraint as well. And they can rotate, but they cannot go left and right. They can rotate as well because we don't have any constraint for them. But they are, the angle in these two, this plane is 180 or zero, let's say. In summary, we are going to have all of it in one page. We can see what is the difference between example number one, two, and three, when we are going to have CZ, it means we are going to have the constraint for orientation and location. They are combined zoom. If it is SZ, we don't have that constraint. They can rotate. The angle is not anymore 180. But when we are going to have this combined zoom respect to A, it means they cannot go left and right. They cannot go left and right. They can rotate the same as this CZ, this example number one. Here, let's see this figure at top left. We are going to have these three surface. We are going to have flatness with the TZ of 0 0.1 and combined zoom. And instead of that, we can write flatness 0 0.1, SIM, one number, let's say two here. These two figures are equivalent to each other. We are going to control orientation and location of this tree because it is combined zone. Or in the set of this combined zone, we are going to write, we can write SIM with one number. Another example here at bottom left again. Here we are going to have this combined zone with the flatness of 0 0.2. And instead of that, we can write SIM 1, 1, 1. The meaning of these two figures is exactly the same. We have talked about this SZ separate zones, and we are going to have this CZ combined zone. We are going to constrain orientation and location. If we are going to have CZI, we are going to make constraint just for orientation, combined zone rotational only, and SIM and one number. We talk about that simultaneously. It is equivalent to the CZ for these examples here. The last topic in GDNT I'm going to present here, it is sequence of these modifiers. 
let's say if you are going to have s z s z what does it mean this one is going to talk about the pattern this one is going to talk about the orientation location there is no pattern between those features it can be holes anything and second topic is s z c z there is no pattern we are going to have combined zoom for orientation location c z c z it means we are going to have Combines them for pattern and then for orientation and location. CZI, R, and CZ, it means we are going to have concern for pattern rotationally only, but for orientation and location, we are going to have it because we have CZ here. CZ, 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 it means combine zoom for pattern number one, combine zoom for pattern number two and see that the last one is going to talk about the orientation location let's see the last example today we are going to have these two holes here and we are going to have let's say tz 0.2 and we are going to have cz and we are going to have all around here and parallel to a for each let's say cross section here parallel to a for that profile, we are going to have this situation for that hole, for that two hole, because we are going to have two here. It is combined zoom. As we discussed previously, we are going to have round corners here, as we discussed previously, because that TZ is going to roll around that features, combined features. That's why we are going to have, let's say, round corner here. And the angle is zero or 180, and we are going to have this TZ for this united feature and this example in the middle we are going to have cz cz and all around parallel to a as we can see here at the bottom of this figure we can see it is combined zone they are going to behave the same as this united feature but at the corner it is not around anymore we are going to have this angle 180 or zero and the distance between these two it is 30 and the same let's say the same scenario but the corners they are not anymore round as we can see here and here i'm going to show it by mouse and the last one we are going to have sz and cz the first one it means there is no pattern between these two holes because we have two here and we have CZ, it means we are going to have this tolerance zoom for each of them. Let's say for each of them, we are going to have 10, 10, and we are going to have this TZ 0.2, but there is no pattern between these two holes. That's why the angle between these two, it is not the same as these two examples. It is not zero or 180. If you follow this DOI, you can find something about this CZ, CZ, CZ for pattern number one, pattern number two, and the orientation location. Thank you for today. I'm going to close this topic regarding GDMT. In future, I'm going to talk about FEM and let's say how to design pumps. These two topics, I would like to talk about these two topics in future. Regarding this GDNT, I can say I, I have covered almost 80-85% of topics in this issue regarding GDNT. If you have any question, please let me know. I try to give you some references or if needed, I can prepare some other slides. Thank you for being with me in this journey. See you in future regarding FEM and POMS. Thank you.